Do you use Windows 10 and think you know it inside and out? Today on Tech Tip Tuesday, we explore five tips that makes your Windows 10 experience even better. Hey, welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Liron Segev and every Tuesday I share with you tips and tricks and how-tos to making you more productive, more efficient and getting more out of your systems. If this sounds like something that you're into, smash that subscribe button right here and let's get on to this week's episode. You know how it's getting more and more difficult to focus because everything's vying for your attention. So you're trying to type a document, you're editing something, and then Windows notification pops up and alarm bell goes off. Well, with Windows 10, you've got something called Focus Assistant, and I'm gonna show you how you can use that to better focus your attention and actually get stuff done. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go into here, and then you've got this little thing that looks like the moon. Right click on that. Go to settings you're only doing it the first time just when you're setting it up and you have an option to switch focus assist off in other words let's be bugged by absolutely every notification priority only in other words only notification for certain applications or alarms because well you don't want to miss your flat or something that's really important so focus assist really good feature all you're going to do is right is click on here and click on the whenever you want to focus I just stick mine to alarms and now nothing is going to bug me whilst I'm trying to get into the zone. Now that we've dealt with notifications on the computer, the next notifications we want to deal with are the ones that are on your phone. Well, the last thing you want to do is stop and then start kind of looking at your phone and deal with those notifications. Well, Windows 10, you have an ability to have those notifications appear on your screen, just a lot easier to deal with. Let me show you how to do that. So first thing you're going to do is that this is a couple of step process. So the first thing you want to do is you have to pair your phone with your computer. You do that via Bluetooth and here's where you can actually add another Bluetooth device. I've already got my phone paired here. So that's the first step. Once you've done that on your phone, you've got to go download the Cortana app and basically you're going to go into Cortana. I could spell. Cortana and you're going to go into your settings now over here you've got something called Cortana across my devices click on that and here is where you can actually enable notifications from your device so now any notification that appears here will now appear on my screen but what's cool is that you can actually text back the person that phoned straight from your screen so uh, here's a call uh, call you Soon. Uh, another one is any other notification that appears on the phone. So, for example, WhatsApp message. Let me send that. There it is. And again, I can reply from here. So, those are pretty cool. Right, it's getting darker now. It's towards the evening. You've worked the whole day. Your eyes are starting to take a bit of strain. You can enable something called night mode, which takes away that cold blue temperature from your screen and gives you a nice warmer feel and a little bit easier on the eyes. Let me show you how to do that. Over here, you got the picture looks like the sun. Right click on that, go to settings, and here is where you set it up. This is the display, and you, a little bit down here, you got something called night light. Mine's currently set to on, and here is where you can actually customize your night light settings. I like to have mine automatically be enabled from sunset to sunrise. It knows my location, it just adjusts the time basically based on the sun and what the sun's doing. If you're like me and you have to help other people solve a certain problem on their computer or show them how to do something, well, sometimes it's a lot better to show someone how to do it versus just talking them through over the phone, you know, language barriers and all that. So Windows 10 has got a step recorder which makes that task an absolute pleasure. Instead of telling you about it, let me show you. You're gonna go into your search at the bottom here, at the bottom of the screen, and type there, step, Recorder. Now that's an app that will come up. And all you're going to do is you're going to hit start record. You can even move that out of the way. Uh, let's say we want to help someone do something in um, Word. So let's open up Word. This is how you fold this sentence. Now I'm actually going to do it. So let's fold. I'm going to be. Right, now, uh, let's show someone how to add a table. Insert table name 
date. Let's make it pretty for them. Okay, that kind of thing. Now, let's stop the recording. And now you'll see what Windows does is it actually breaks down everything I just did into a step-by-step -step instructions. So, next, next. Okay. We love using our emojis on our phones, but did you know that Windows 10 actually has an entire emoji library built into Windows? Let me show you how to use that. So, let me go into one of my videos. This is the one I shot on the cruise line, and I'm going to reply to a comment. So, here's a comment. Uh, I'm going to reply and say, hey, cool, don't forget to subscribe. Now I want to put an emoji in here. So what I do is I hold down the Windows button on my keyboard and the period or the full stop, and it brings up an emoji library. Let's see which one. We are going to have a heart here and a thumbs up. Yeah, he's subscribing. Windows 10 is full of features and we just got to kind of unpack them and discover them as we go along. I'll do some more of these videos. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel a lot, so would I really appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. We do tech tips and tech reviews every Tuesday and other cool stuff the rest of the week. Smash that subscribe button, share this video with someone else, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Tech Tip Tuesday. Cheers for now.